<clears throat> I'm back with a fun project that was inspired by Cheryl at Deli Girl 1961 here on YouTube. And she did a nine part series on a file folder al album using a digital download from Ingrafo, who's on uh, Etsy, and she's a New Zealand retailer. And I'll put the link to both, um, both the videos and the digital kit uh, in the description box down below. This is going to be a giveaway on my channel, so I made it for that purpose. It's a gorgeous album. Uh, the album measures uh, five and three quarters by eight, and the papers are coffee dyed and printed on 24 pound printer paper. There's one signature. There's lots of tabs in here. I'm going to take you quickly through it, and, and I'll give you the details to the giveaway at the end of the video. So I didn't do too much to the cover. I added some stamping and, well, pretty much just stamping. And I used vintage photo around the edges, which I usually always use. And it turns out that this cover happens to be the same one that Cheryl used. I didn't even realize it until, the, until I looked at her video again. Uh, the back is different, though. So um, it's a gorgeous kit. I used Liquitex gloss medium as I've done on all of my other journals. You've seen it before. <clears throat> and when you go inside, uh, I once again use the Tim Holtz paper stash craft resist on the inside. I just, I really like this. It gives it a nice sturdy background. So that's what you'll see here. I added some, some pockets and some tabs. Everything is from the digital download. It's a great kit. It's got lots of product in it to use. And uh, this is a craft stick. I had this wild hair to try just using paper over a craft stick. You'll see it. I used it in the album. I just stuck this in here because I like it. <laughs> Again, tracing paper that I've used just for the beginning and the end of the signature. This has a magnetic belly band and in it is a tag that's also from the kit so the belly band helps keep everything in place and then I also made just a Polaroid from the paper and just stuck that in there there's lots of tabs some of the tabs are from the kit like this and some of them I just punched out and added to the little postcard is from the kit, and it just flips up like that. And then I made a tuck spot with one of these flags. The other two are adhered down. There's lots of room for writing and um, pictures, if you'd like. So this is a Polaroid, and oh, I was hoping to stick a picture in there for you. Um, I don't know what I did with it. Ugh. Well, okay. And I did put a sleeve in here so that it will stay in. So it's just a plastic sleeve. And I think I'll put a template so that whoever gets this album can easily just slip it in there. So I just put a piece of washi tape behind there just to show something. just a pocket and inside this is just a little just a little note card thing you could do whatever you wanted in there so there's that some tuck spots um, this is Tim Holtz craft paper crinkles when you um, when you when you crunch it like this it just gets really crinkly I like it. More tabs. I left it pretty plain for whoever you know gets this and wants to do something. Just a spinner. You could use it as a tuck spot. This is the inside of the signature, and it's just an envelope. Put one in in there, whatever you want. Tuck spot. Another one of those flips, and then there's two of those postcards in here. And this flips, this is just uh, an envelope. And 
And then I talked to you about the craft stick. Well, this is a bigger one, and I put paper on both sides again from the kit, and I just used it as a place to kind of hold this. You could use it this way, or you know, you can use it to hold this down. Again, another Polaroid, I put the plastic sleeve in there to adhere the, or to slip the picture in. And then on the back, there's a pocket here with a tag. Uh, I signed it here, and then the, this tag is made from the Tim Holtz Craft Resist. And there's the back. So, what I want to do is give this away. Um, what you need to do is be a subby, uh, leave a comment in down below, and it's only open to U.S. Um, participants right now and I will post this today on December 4th Friday December 4th 2015 and I'll announce the winner on Tuesday December 15th 2015 and I'll get that in the mail to the winner just as soon as uh, as soon as I get their uh, snail mail address so again uh, be subby and leave a comment US only and good luck, and I hope you enjoy this journal. Thanks for watching.